Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia, also known as Cat Crazy Creations here on YouTube. Um, if you are here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. Um, this is a crafting channel. It is a crochet, a cross stitch, um, a once a month scrapbooking um, page and you know whatever else I can come up with to do on the channel but it is basically um, crochet and cross stitch so if you're interested in these things please continue to um, watch and um, see what I've been up to uh, in today's video it is a crochet video I alternate my crochet and my cross stitch so every other Sunday um, will be crochet and then the next Sunday would be cross stitch. But today is crochet. I have two finishes and I have a work in progress. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to show is my work in progress and it is from the Yarnspirations website yarnspirations.com and it is the love monkey this is the cutest little monkey I love it it's only about seven and a half inches tall, so it's, it, it is small, and it is an easy pattern, and I have just got um, bits and pieces done. So this is the head, which I have not stuffed or anything, but this is the head. This is the body. The body is much smaller than the head as it shows here. I have got the ears made. I have got the heart. There is a heart that goes on the tummy of the monkey. And then I have got the face part. Now, these are going to be very close in color, but I'm trying to use my stash. And so I didn't want to, I'm trying to see, see, there is a difference. So you can tell, I was hoping that this would be a little bit lighter, but I think it's going to work as I'm looking at it on the camera. So anyway, this is the face part where the eyes and mouth and everything would go on. So I am now working on the tail. And then when I get the tail done, I will start stuffing and putting it together. But right here is the heart. Very hard to see, but it's right in here. So you put the heart on the tummy, you go around the ears, put the tail on, and then embroider on, or whatever you want to do, the rest of it. So that is my work in progress. It's from inspirations.com, and it is the Love Monkey. Easy project. Okay, <clears throat> so, and my finishes. are I made a happy crab pet toy and a lot of you that have followed me for a long time know that I have made several of these in the past for my animals so this is a very easy quick one day project or much less if you just sit and just do it but here it is. It's a catnip toy. It's a nice size. But with Oreo being still young, 
he loves to grab on to things that are bigger like this, kick them with his feet and things like that. So this is the one that I made, the Happy Crab. It does have catnip in it. It does have some fiber fill in there as well. But it's tightly woven, tightly stitched, so I don't really think the fiber fill will come out. But if it does, then I will take the toy away. So, and, pro and I um, did the French knots for the eyes and a surface chain for the mouth. So, that is one of my finished projects. And it is called the Happy Crab Pet Toy. And it's by Kathy North. And I've had this pattern since 2009. So I've had it a while. I think I got it off Ravelry. So I don't know if, it, you know, it's still available, but go check it out. If you're interested, Happy Crab Pet Toy. So that's a finish. And then... My last finish was what I was working on on my last video, which is the Bernat two color bag holder. Trying to get the glare there. So there it is. It's a very easy project, very, very easy. You just, you know, start with one color and then you just work you add the other color as you go back, and then you add, you know, just back and forth. Very, very simple. So here is mine. All finished. Really love how it turned out. And there's the flower. I didn't want all of these like where they'll, you know how if you sleeve like flowers, crocheted flowers, sometimes they're really long, you know, have the long petals, they'll end up curling up. Well, I didn't really want that, so all I did was I tacked down except for the very ends of them, so they still come forward. but they're in one place. And then I did three French knots in the middle. And it's just, you just sew it together there in the back. So, I'm very happy with this. I think my son will like it. It's not too, you know, feminine or anything, so I think he will like it. And I'm going to be making me one, so you'll be seeing this project again. So, yeah. And this is all scrap yarn. I'm just working with scraps. So, there it is. And once again, it is called Bernat Cotton Two Color Bag Holder. And it is an easy project. And so far, I am staying on my goal. If any of you watched my goals video, you will know that I had said I wanted to try to do 24 crochet projects in the year. So that would be two crochet projects a month. So this was January. This and the crab were January. So I met that goal. And the monkey is will be one February. So I think I can do two projects a month, and I might be able to do more than that, which would exceed my goal. 
but so far I'm right on track and I'm enjoying everything I'm making and yeah but that's how I'm doing it the, all these projects and I also wanted to share that I keep all my projects and I had brought that up before I I keep all my projects in one of these poly binders and then I have them in the little sheet protectors. What this one is, is I went through all of my patterns and went online to some places that I like and the um, people that I like, to their projects, and I found myself 20, I think I have 25 patterns in here. Once, the, some of them I have made, some of them I have never made and have wanted to. So I put them all in here and this is what I'm working from for my um, 24 projects in a year. I'm working from here. But of course, if someone makes something and you know I want to crochet that pattern, then I would do that and not go into this. This is just giving me the ideas and I have projects that I can do. But you know, I can always change up on that. So that's how I store my stuff in this is how I'm working out of my 24 projects in a year is through here so I just wanted to share that with you guys so anyway I think that is all for this time um, I'm really motivated to crochet I'm really enjoying it so I'll see what else I can come up with once I get the monkey finished um, so you'll probably see in my next video a finished monkey as well as anything new that I am starting. So anyway, thank you guys all so much for continuing to come back to support my channel. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube see that my videos are being watched and they're being liked and they will put, put my videos out to a bigger audience and I would appreciate that. Anyway, um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys on my next video. Take care.